seasonal menus. It is autumn, leaves are turning orange, they're all falling off the trees, it's pretty cold, it is my favourite time of year. And it's also when a load of new and interesting fast food menu options drop. Today we're going to try quite a few different ones from a load of different fast food joints and we're going to see which ones are the best and which ones aren't worth your money. We start with Tim Hortons, somewhere that I haven't really been to much. I think I've been once for like a video ages ago. I did check their autumn menu like two days ago and it's changed since then. It is now changed to the Christmas menu, but it's fine. We're here for it. We're here for it and we're here to try. So I didn't get everything that's new, obviously. We're just going to get a select few items from each place and try them. But we've got a chicken sandwich here. This is the chicken Christmas sandwich. It comes with crispy chicken, cranberry sauce, gravy and a stuffing slice. It looks okay. The chicken doesn't certainly doesn't feel particularly crispy, but hopefully it's a good sandwich. It's definitely got some heft to it. We'll try and get everything in one bite, shall we? I think I really like that. The stuffing is great. It's really savory, very sagey, goes with the chicken. And the chicken itself is quite peppery, so that works really, really well. That's countered by this really lovely cranberry sauce, actually. Uh, I'm not really getting too much of the gravy. I'm not sure where the gravy sits in this. So it's a slightly gravy soaked bun on the bottom. It's a solid chicken burger. This is my first burger ever. Hey yo, what the fuck? From Tim Hortons. I would 100% come back to Tim Hortons again to try one of their actual burgers or have another chicken sandwich. I think it's a solid eight out of 10 for a fast food chicken sandwich. That's quite high praise. Next up, we got the gingerbread latte, which apparently, I don't think it's just new for Christmas. It is new to Tim Hortons. We've gone for everything that specifically says new. We've looked at a lot of different menus and they don't actually say like new for some of their festive drinks or their autumn drinks. So as far as I'm aware, this is brand new. Oh, it's very sweet. And I'm not a huge fan of sweet coffees. I get a very, very, very vague hint of gingerbread there, but more than anything, it just tastes like someone has put a lot of sweetener in my coffee. It's like a three at the most. Moving on. So first things first, this is not what I ordered. I ordered the white raspberry snowball donut. This is the milk chocolate snowball donut. Bit unfortunate, but not much I can do about it now. So annoyed Tim Hortons got my order wrong. Very annoyed, but the most we can do is try it and hope it's nice. Would have been nicer with white chocolate. There's nothing overly Christmassy or wintry about this other than it's got a holly leaf on it and a bit of like white icing sugar. Otherwise it's just a raspberry filled chocolate donut, which I'm not complaining about by the way. It's a perfectly mediocre donut. Certainly not blow your socks off. Probably four out of 10. It's a shame because Tim Hortons is known for its donuts, but if you're going to go there this holiday season and get anything, go for the chicken sandwich. I have just been inside McDonald's for close to half an hour waiting for their autumn toffee apple pie to be cooked, only to be told after 20 to 30 minutes of waiting it was going to be another 10 minutes, so I just had to refund it. Not on McDonald's, really not on. Either way, we start today at McDonald's with the chili double cheeseburger. I believe it's just a double cheeseburger with chili sauce. I'll let you put in the comments below, do you think it's gonna be hot or not? Let's try this. Will it be better than a normal double cheeseburger? Pretty much just standard double cheeseburger, but uh, I hope the chili sauce maybe adds something. It's definitely tingly on the tongue. For someone like me, it was absolutely fine with heat. It's a really pleasant heat. And it's got a nice sort of tangy sweetness to it as well. This definitely, to me, enhances that normal double cheeseburger experience. That's really nice, I'm going in again. Mmm, not just the chili sauce. They've put jalapenos in this as well. I already like the double cheeseburger by McDonald's. Like if I were to honestly rate it, I'm a big fan. I would call it a six, maybe a seven out of 10. This, even better. If McDonald's keep this, I would be happy. I would get this all the time. I'm gonna rate it the same as I did the chicken sandwich. This is an eight out of 10. This is really, really yummy. 
Who knew just adding a couple of simple ingredients to a normal double cheeseburger at McDonald's would elevate it quite that much. And then I believe there's a few days left of this. I mean, I asked for a small. This does not look like a small to me, but this is the toasted marshmallow latte. Sounds nice. Hopefully a bit better than that gingerbread one I had a second ago. It's giving bland. It just tastes of milk. <laughs> it literally just tasted of milk. Why is no one getting these drinks right? I feel like I need to go to like a Costa or a Starbucks or something to actually properly test the drinks. We'll do that another time. But there is nothing marshmallowy about this whatsoever. It is just a not very well put together latte. I'm actually really disappointed by this. But uh, yet again, at least we've got the burger. So the more I drink this, I think all of the syrup like went to the bottom. You do get that kind of marshmallowiness and it's actually quite nice. I think it just needed a really, really good stir. It's still not amazing by all means, but it's not awful. Five out of 10. So we've just come to Ikea and to get Kara some food. She didn't know what all the, all the stuff I've been eating. There's a new margarita pizza here. Let's try it. No pizza. It's a shame. We move on. While Carolina is enjoying her meatballs, I've been looking up what else is nearby and what else is around here that we can try. There's a couple of interesting things. There's a couple of donuts we're going to try at Krispy Kreme. And we're also going to go, again, another place I've never really been to much before. We're going to go to Shake Shack because they have an all new truffle burger and a Yule Log milkshake. Shake Shack's not somewhere I come very often, but this sounded too good to pass up. There is a white truffle burger and a yule log milkshake. What's that shake? It's nice. Basically a chocolate milkshake. I guess the yule log bit comes from the sheer amount of cream on top. But this, indulgent and what? Yummy. Let's try the truffle burger. That's indulgent. It is really nice clear cheese. Crispy, crispy onions. The truffle is there. It's not overpowering, but it's good. Definitely not my favorite I've had today. Both of these, they both get about a six out of 10. Next up, it's the turn of Krispy Kreme. Now Krispy Kreme have just released two new donuts. There is the Rocky Road donut, and there is the S'mores donut. Now I'm not usually a huge fan of filled donuts, so I'm intrigued to see what these are. The Rocky Road one does look more like an original glazed with a few bits in the center. So that's probably gonna be my favorite without trying them. We'll go for the s'mores first. It is a nice looking donut, isn't it? How unfortunate. I haven't quite got to the marshmallow center in my first bite. So I'm gonna have to take a couple more bites. Oh, woe is me. That's actually all right, you know. I quite like the marshmallow fluff in the middle. That is literally what it is. There's not really much of the graham cracker on top, but it is a chocolate donut filled with marshmallow fluff. And that's really good. Thing is, I genuinely just love a Krispy Kreme. You have all of these other ones that I feel sometimes try too hard, like Crosstown Donuts, like Donut Time. Krispy Kreme, nail on the head every single time. That was so much better already than the Tim Hortons one. Let's uh, dive into the rocky road. That's interesting. I'm not really too sure what is a uh, Rocky Roadie about it. It is, as I say, it's just an original glazed with a bit of cream and marshmallows in the inside, which is good, don't get me wrong. I think the s'mores was better. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna finish this entire thing there. Mm. But if I had to give them a rating, which I do, Rocky Road, that's a six out of 10. But the s'mores, that's an eight. Now, one realizes while editing that didn't do a roundup for the video. So here we go. I would say, look, if you want a decent burger, get yourself down to McDonald's and get yourself down to Tim Horton while you can. Those were impeccable. Krispy Kreme donuts, also really good. I would take them any day of the week. In terms of seasonal drinks, maybe don't go. Maybe don't go to a fast food place for them. Maybe go Costa, Starbucks, something like that. Either way. I think that's a video in itself. This was a fun day.